Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. So in this video, we're going to be doing a special unboxing, one I haven't done in a while, and I've been uh, anticipating <laughs> when I would get this box, but I got a big ass box from Joshua Maria again, and we all know how awesome his boxes are. So um, as you can see, I haven't even cracked open the seal yet. It's going to be a complete blind unboxing, um, and let's get into it. Uh, all right, so Joshua is a really, really good friend of mine, and um, we do trade boxes all the time, but we haven't been able to do one in a long time because we just both been busy or we didn't have the funds or whatever. So um, I seen this crazy epic box he gave somebody. I think it was Jerome, and um, oh my God, it was amazing. I said I needed a box right away. So the only thing he said to me was, open the pink one last. So I don't know what that means, but <laughs> anyway, so right off the bat, I can see a t-shirt and it's a Deadpool shirt. So let's open this up and I freaking love the color. Black and red is my favorite color. Oh, that's so cool. I thought it was a t-shirt. It's actually like a jersey. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. <coughs> I apologize about my voice. Um, I'm still sick, so I'll probably be coughing a little bit. But anyway, holy Christ, look at this. This thing is awesome. Wow. And it's really good quality, too. So it says Deadpool 91. Um, yeah, and it's got Deadpool's logo on the, on the front there. Oh, man, that is, that's a friggin' awesome shirt. I wonder where he got that. I'm going to have to ask him. Um, okay, so <laughs> so everything is wrapped in pink paper. How manly. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see here. Let's grab this first. What the hell is this? Ooh, I see. It looks like a painting or something. I see canvas. Oh, <laughs> it's Deadpool again. <laughs> but like... He's green. What the hell? Hold on, I gotta see this. Oh, is it Frankenstein? Is this the... So I told him I love Frankenstein, and he said that he found a really unique Frankenstein item. And, yeah, this is it! <laughs> That's so cool! Look at that, Frankenstein as Deadpool. Or Deadpool as... No, it's Frankenstein as Deadpool. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. That is really cool. I wonder if his wife is the one that made this. I don't, I don't know. Um, cause she paints and she's really good, but, uh, yeah, so we got that. That is friggin' awesome. I like that. Okay. Oh man. I wish I could just open these kinds of boxes every day. Uh, I don't want to put this stuff on the floor cause Harley's going to get to it. Uh, whatever. I'll just shoo him away. Okay. So we got some more pink paper. Oh, ooh, we got a big item in here. What is this? Um, Suicide Squad. Oh, shit, no way. <laughs> wow, damn, Josh. Holy Christ, he spent a lot of money on this box. I thought it was just going to be like a fun, a fun little box I can open in the meantime, but damn. Got me a Harley Quinn uh, statue. Oh, it's the key holder. I seen this in, um, what was it? Loot Crate, I think it was. They had the Batman uh, one. Oh, that's, that's friggin' awesome. Harley looks pretty cool, too. Her face is a little mashed up, but, <laughs> but the body is on point. And I like the pose, too. That is really cool. I'm going to have a separate review of this, I guess, uh, so I can take a closer look at it. Um, all right, let's see. What else do we got here? Yeah, I know you hear the crinkling paper, Harley. Don't you dare come over here. I see you. Okay, so... Alright, so... We got something small. What is this? Oh! Josh! That is friggin' awesome! Universal Monsters Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein glow-in-the-dark pins. Oh, those are friggin' cool, man. Wow, I really like these. Oh, and they, yeah, they glow in the dark, too. 
Oh man. Oh wow, these are so cool. This is probably my favorite thing in the box. I mean, if 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 I'm being honest, that's crazy that these little pins are probably my favorite thing so far. Okay. Um, all right, next we got, I don't know, what does that say? I'm not sure what that says, but it says something. I don't know. Let's open it and find out what it is. Fifth turtle. Oh, wow. That is, that is really cool and unique. I've never seen anything like this before. So it says, it says turtle for life, and it's a wood engraved ninja turtle, and it looks like the comic version. That is really good detail. I'm going to take a picture and post it somewhere over here so you guys can see a better look at it. But uh, yeah, and then inside it says turtle for life, or sorry, it says fifth turtle, and um, oh, actually, it's, those are stickers. Okay, so we got two stickers. Uh, that say the fifth turtle. So I'm assuming that fifth turtle is like the company that made them. I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look them up online, but uh, that is really awesome. You know, I really like this box because the last couple boxes he's done have been just as epic, but they've been more mainstream stuff, you know, like Hikari's or Funko Pops or whatever, right? This one is really unique and there's a lot of items I've never even seen before. So hey, get down. So, um, so we got mystery minis and, uh, and adorbs. Okay, so let's go with the adorbs next. It looks like Deadpool. Hey, come on, get out. Harley, get out. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit. Actually, hold on. Now that the box is empty, I can just put this stuff in there so Harley doesn't get to it. So we got um, an Iron Spider Dorbs, which is a Walgreens exclusive. That's pretty awesome. I don't really collect the Dorbs, but I do have a few of them. I have a lot of the horror ones and uh, the ones that come in the Marvel Collector Core, like uh, Iron Man and stuff like that. But yeah, we got a Walgreens exclusive. That is friggin' awesome. Iron Spider. Um, and uh, looks like we only got the horror mystery minis left. Yeah, that's all we got left in here. And, um, all right, so let's open the first one. Okay. Come on, Freddy. Freddy would be badass, or maybe even the Beetlejuice characters. Um, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, man. I got Jaws, I can feel it. I got like four of these already. I got one there, but I also have like three of them uh, put away because um, I'm gonna sell them. But yeah, I got Jaws, I could feel it. You can see, I'm not gonna open it, but yeah, I got Jaws. Damn it, that's like the easiest one to get. And it was funny because when I first saw these horror minis, Jaws is the one I wanted the most because I, I love Jaws. <laughs> He seems to be the one I'm getting the most. Um, I know he's a common, but I mean, I haven't gotten most of the commons except for Jaws, and I got a few of the Wolfmen. Um, all right, so oh, we got we got a, another mystery mini, but it's not a horror mystery mini. It's a Fallout Four mystery mini. Yep, yeah, Fallout. No, no, Bethesda mystery mini. Is it? I don't know what the hell this is. It's a vinyl figure from Fallout Four. GameStop exclusive. Yeah, these are mystery minis. All right, so, oh, oh, it's already open. Oh, there's a few of them in here. Okay, cool. So, we got, um, oh, is that, what's his face? I can't remember his name. Ah, uh, damn it. Fallout 4 is like one of my favorite games ever. I can't remember his name. He, his hat, um, I, rem I recognize his hat because I always used to make fun of it in the game, but, yeah, he, there's him. <laughs> um... And we got, oh, we got, what's this, oh, god damn it, I just played the game last night, too. Oh, I can't remember his name either. Man, it's been a while since I played Fallout. I just played it last night for the first time in, in a long time. But, that's so cool, I like that. 
He's probably my favorite character in the game next to Cogsworth. Cogsworth is pretty funny, but um, I, I just like the way he looks. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. Oh wait, no there isn't. There's one more mystery mini. Oh my god, please don't be Jaws. <laughs> Oh, my nose is starting to run. I have to blow my nose. Mm. Being sick sucks balls. Okay, so who do we got? Oh my god, it's Elvira. <laughs> I can feel it. Damn it. <laughs> yep, it's Elvira. <laughs> Two very, very common ones. But that's okay. That's okay. I did end up picking up a case um, at Fan Expo. And as you can see, that is all the Mr. Minis I got. Um, so I got quite a bit. But I mean, I didn't put my doubles out there. My doubles are in the actual case. Uh, and I got like four Elviras, three Wolfmen, um, three Jaws, or four Jaws. Two jacks. I got like a whole bunch of doubles. But that was Josh's epic box. And that was a very epic box. Thank you so much, Josh. That was really, really fun to do. And um, I really liked everything in here. Like I said, it was uh, it was different than usual. Usually it's like more common stuff. Um, but this one was a very unique. There was a lot of cool stuff in here that I've never seen before. And uh, it'll be fun to display. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I have a few boxes coming up uh, unboxing. i I kind of been buying a lot of boxes lately because uh, I just, I don't have many unboxings on my channel anymore. It's mostly just gameplay stuff, and uh, I wanted to get back to unboxing. So I bought the BAM Horror Box. Um, I bought uh, another uh, That Scary Good Horror Mystery Box. Um, what else did I buy? I got a... Dr um, what are they called? Uh, I can't remember the name of it. The Dread... The Dread Box? I can't remember the name of it. Something... Box of Dread, I think it's called. Um, I have one of those coming, and I have another one called Little Box of Horrors. So, um, I'm going to be opening those up uh, all through October, and uh, I don't really have too much coming in September. Uh, they're mostly all for October, so keep a lookout for those, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.